Hi guys, it's me, Danielle Dirty Buttons, and who's ready for a very disorganized what I got for Christmas slash December haul video? Not me, that is for certain. First of all, I would just like to apologize. I didn't end up getting a video up yesterday, so I broke my streak. My goal was every day in December, and I missed the one day. I'm hoping to be able to get the rest of the days. I think I did pretty good, though, because between Patreon and over here, I ended up doing... 31 videos in 26 days. So I took off the 27th. This one I think is gonna be a little bit late since I'm filming at noon and it usually goes up at one, but it's still gonna go up. Yes. So first things first, um, yeah, I tried to organize this as best I could. I received some gifts from fun friends, coloring friends, and I'm not showing every single little bit, and I'm also terrified that I'm gonna miss something, so we're just gonna do our best. So first, let me just show you this, since it's here. I got more mats, so I got this one, which is a map. I don't love that it has this red line in the middle, that's kind of annoying, but what can you do? I don't know if I knew about that when I picked that one. And I also got another one. So I'm up to four different mats now, which is nice because this is pretty much the perfect framing. Like this is the height I want all my videos to be. And almost every single coloring book fits perfectly within this. So these are just gaming desk mouse pads. This is like the extra large side or something extra large size um yeah they're like 15 inches by 35 inches they're huge but it's great for filming so i think i have this like permanently linked in my favorites shop that should be down below i'm gonna try to link everything but i think that if you're gonna watch it like the second it comes out it might not be there because i really just want to get the video up so sorry for all the long explanations but that's what's going on so two new mats, this one's gonna stay out with me. I'm gonna show you two other like random things and then we'll get into more stuff. So I have got, it's actually a four pack, but I just brought two of bookends and they're clear. I just have to take the like plastic off, but I'm very excited for this because my coloring collection has grown immensely, specifically over the last two months. And I had to like put stuff on new shelves and put things where they weren't before. So I'm excited to use these guys to keep a little bit organized or at least attempt to. Uh, I think tomorrow, maybe, I don't know. You'll be hearing about my goals for next year soon and that will include some organization stuff. So keep an eye out for that. But I got these from my cousin. I'm very excited to have them because again, my books are on a new shelf, but it's like not full. So everything's falling over and it's a mess, so. And the last thing I want to show you before the rest of it is uh, you may have heard me mention that my dad purchased a diamond painting for me and I was shocked and he accidentally got caught because the box just said Diamond Art Club. So I know what it is now. Zoop. He, let's see if you can see it. He got me the Rapunzel. Can you see it? Not really. Hmm. The lighting is weird because it's like on that half of the box. It's Rapunzel. So this is a Hannah Lynn one and he didn't know that that's the other kind that I have. I don't know why he picked it but he picked it all on his own and good golly that is a lot of hair. So I definitely want to finish one of my in progress diamond paintings before I start this one but I'm excited. I actually really love repetitive colors because then you don't have to like switch out colors as often. So very excited for that. Okay now I'm gonna get into it. I've tried to organize this. I have books and well okay I think supplies first and then I have coloring books that I've also sub sorted and then I have reading books and then I'm saving my two very most exciting coloring things for the end so you have to stick around all the way to the end because these two things are super cool I have to cough <coughs> <coughs> sorry okay before I get into that okay Whew. calm down I'm fine it's all very exciting. So this was actually sent to me by my friend Amy, who I've mentioned before. She does not have YouTube, but she has Instagram. Miss Amy J. Nope, I don't know. Now I'm scared. Miss Amy Jo? I don't know. I'll link her down below. Uh, I think it's Miss Amy Jo. Miss Amy M. Jo? Something like that. But she knit me and Sam hats. And mine has a hole 
for my bun and it's so fun and Sam's got his is gray but his is downstairs because he actually has worn his outside already and I have not been outside in the cold yet so I've just been wearing mine in the house and I actually like put my Santa hat on and then this and then I look like a gnome and I was like hee hee I'm a gnome so she knit this and that's amazing and I still don't know how she did it like did you change colors or was this like one of those cool skeins that like changes colors itself I don't know because it's like super clean but that would be a lot of color changing I don't know anything about knitting or crocheting this could be crocheted maybe it is maybe I don't know but thank you so so much that was so cool the fact that Sam has received presents is crazy and noodles got some presents so I'll talk more about them when I get to them all right I'm gonna do supplies first I think because they're the most awkward to hold so then it'll get it out of the way that's the goal let me see I'm, I'm talking about how I'm, everything's perfectly framed but I haven't filmed in so long that I'm nervous okay so just in size order in my stocking, Sam got me a new Kurataki brush, which I'm excited for because my current brush is a little bit trashed. So I'm probably still gonna use the old one for glitter and stuff since it's already trashed, why not? But I'm excited to have a new one. So those are my favorite water brushes. Then my aunt got me these scissors. These are my favorite scissors. This is now my third pair. My dad got my first one and then stole it because they're so good. And then I had a pink pair, but they actually like broke a little bit. So I was sad and I got this one. I kind of fixed the pink pair, but I'm very happy to have two. These are spring action. These are really good for precision because you squeeze it and it just, it, it's very useful. I don't know how to explain it, but if you need new scissors, definitely try these out. I love them a lot. Um, and then they like snap closed because obviously they're spring action. So this is what broke on my other pair, but very excited. I couldn't find the pink ones anymore, which was sad, but I'm very happy to have these. And Fiskars is like one of my favorite blade companies. I don't know, it's weird <laughs> to have a favorite blade company. All right, now I have two things from Emily, Color Me Impressed. She sent me a wonderful box. It was so sweet, but not all of it was coloring related. So I just brought out the coloring adjacent things. So she found these Sleeping Polar Bears page tabs and I love them. They're adorable. I don't know how well you can see because of glare, but there are, yeah, so he's sleeping with like one leg out of the covers. That one's reading, that one's on his belly, that one has a, his own teddy bear, and then this one's just staring at you, which is me at night. And then this one is like waving and it's so, so cute. And will I ever use these? No. Will I hoard them forever? Probably. But what can you do? So, so excited. So cute. And then she also sent, all right, if you've ever been lucky enough to get a package from Emily, she is the queen of like wrapping, packaging. It's ridiculous. Every single item was in a different type of paper, different, um, what are you called? Tissue paper, different little boxes. It's unbelievable ridiculous but so she sent this tiny box with the tissue paper in there and mr sent washable holiday sticks i'm very excited and also confused because they have candy cane santa's cookie christmas tree sugar plum gingerbread and chimney so far i only brought out chimney and sam says it just smells like marker so but i'm excited for the rest of them like chimney what is chimney supposed to smell like I don't know, but, and I'm super excited for the little case too, which I just kept it in for now, but I'm definitely gonna switch that out for another fun little item. Super cute. All right, next, speaking of page tabs, my friend Toll, who's also on Instagram, Toll Moore, got me these magnetic ones, and they're like fruit themed, and I was gonna keep them in the package to show you, but I could not. Um, so these are the magnetic type, and she's like, oh, that way you don't have to go through your hoard of them. And I was like, that is very smart. So I don't know if I'm gonna try to use these for monthly. There's 30 and that's pretty good. I feel like for most months, that's gonna be enough to cover all my pages. But I also might use this for like specific projects um, or like picking pages. So maybe I'll like pick a page into 30 different books. Again, with my goals tomorrow or the next day, you'll see some of my ideas, but I'm very excited. And they're so funny because they're definitely like, from I think Japan I don't know and you can tell like it's some bad translations but they're so funny uh oh oh be careful don't touch me <laughs> and then like these just say let's build a fort and then where's the funny ones like this says happy but it's 
the Eiffel Tower. Um, look what look. Good taste. <laughs> they just make me laugh. Everything will be fine. That's reasonable. Strawberry. There's just a bunch of them, and they're really funny. Lovely orange, and it's blue. <laughs> so, very excited. I'm going to keep this little container on my desk with these guys to pull these out. So, that goes over there. All right, then we have <laughs> my dad in my stocking, kind of. It didn't fit, so it was like next to my stocking. Got me a office supply set. So, this is coloring adjacent. I do like the binder clips, so I'm excited for those. Um to hold pages open and things like that. So there we go. I'm like, Dad, I don't have a push board of any sort. He's like, really? And I was like, yeah. He's like, didn't you used to? And I was like, yeah, that was like eight years ago. So, but the rest of it's good. Sam says I never have paper clips. So now we got some paper clips. And again, I'm really excited for these binder things. So thank you, Papa. <laughs> then my friend Nicole, or Dave's girlfriend, however you know her, she watches my videos. So hey girl, hey. Got me two supplies, which I'm super excited for. She got me the Glaze um, gel pens. So these are like Sakura, right? Yep, Sakura Glossy 3D Glaze, and they're 10 colors. I've only had the clear before, and it's super fancy. Obviously, like Sakura Jelly Roll jelly pens, they're all some of the best gel pens on the market. Um, they're magical. So I'm very excited to try these, and I heard that these, like, just are really super shiny and cool. So I'm gonna whip those out of the package after I film this. Actually, this is a supply I got myself. Uh, Paper Mate Ink Joy capped gel pens. I just wanted to try the capped versions because they were on clearance at Staples and I love clearance. So I don't know if I love the capped versions. <laughs> we'll see, it was only a few dollars, so I definitely will use them. This is probably what I'm gonna use in my bullet journal next year. I'm still deciding, but probably. It just seems easier that way. So then Nicole also got me gelatos. This is the brights, so I'm very excited. I think last year Sam got me the pastels and now I have the brights and this has some fun ones. I also love that it's all food themed or mostly food themed. I love food themed things. So red cherry, bubble gum, lemon, mango, margarita mix, lime, snow cone, boysenberry, lavender, orange soda, passion fruit, and limoncello. Perfect. So I probably will take it out of this container. We'll see, because I'm saying it says perfect storage. Keep the clear packaging as storage, but I'll probably put it with my other ones. I'm also going to be working on my cart next year. Things have gotten overwhelming, but I think I have ideas to like condense and make everything make more sense. So, thank you, thank you. And finally for supply, or actually right now, there's a supply coming later that I've definitely hinted at, but it's one of the things I'm saving till the very end. My sister-in-law got me for Secret Santa and she got me these intensity, big intensities. I've never had a full set of big intensities. I've had like one or two from years and years ago that I don't even know where I got it. Probably at Staples. I don't know if your Staples, but at like checkout, they'll have a rack of random pens and it'll be like, ooh, it's a dollar each. But if you get four, it's only a dollar 25 or something ridiculous. I, I'm always drawn to that and always buy all the things. And I'm, yeah, so I've had some from there from years ago. And I have a whole set. So I'm very nervous because some people swear by these, but then I've also heard some people say they yellow really bad. So we're gonna find out. And I got fine instead of ultra fine because I'm too impatient for ultra fine. So that's exciting. And I'm probably gonna swatch these later because I think they have names, right? I have to cough one more time, I'm so sorry. <coughs> I'm not sick or anything, I just am bad at filming. So I think they have names. I don't know where they have names, but I've heard people refer to them by name before, so. There we go, all right, into the books, the coloring books first. One, one second as I try. All right, I'm trying to flatten everything out. So the first stack is books that I either bought myself or got for a review. So let's do those. Circulism Art, Color by Number, Yule Tide by Eclipse Books. I didn't get to color in this. It never came up in my calendar. So I will try to by the end of the month. And again, I say this all the time, but I'm saying it again. Never feel like you have to stop coloring for one season when the season's over. I color Christmas all year long and I intend to do that again. It just makes me happy coloring Christmas, so. I will definitely be coloring in this book soon, but this is just circles. It's on the premium paper. 
it's like mandala-y, pattern-y, some of them. Some of them are just straight up pictures, but it's just fun coloring circles. So that is that one. Then we have 50 Christmas miniatures. I did manage to get two done in here, which is not enough really, but that's fine. So this is Camellia Andrakova's newest and I love it. Ooh. And it's just super cute. And I'm excited to do more. And I really am hoping next year to focus on the miniature books in general because they're my favorite. So I should work on them, you know? So that is that. Then I have Mosaic Arts Christmas by Satch and Satch Deva. I was supposed to do a video on this and didn't get around to it, so I feel really guilty. And this is how far I got on my page. And I ripped it in my um, clipboard, which was annoying, but I'll probably be able to tape that back together. And luckily it was at the very top and mostly just ripped off the border. But this is his sixth, seventh mosaic book, and it's super cute. And again, I love these mosaic styles and I love Christmas. So I'm excited. There's some examples on the back of different pages in here. So we'll be doing that soon. And then I have two Color Questopia books, Winter Mandalas. I might still try to flip these next two. So this is Winter Mandalas, black background. And as it says, it's just a bunch of Winter Mandalas. So some of them are Christmas themed. A lot of them are snowflakes. Uh, winter hats, snowmen, just fun winter activities all piled up. And then also their newest is delicious food. This one is more detailed and oh, I'm excited to try it because I love coloring like inanimate things. So a whole book of food seems really fun. What is that? Some of it, I'm not sure what it is, and I wonder if I'll know once it's colored. We will find out. Ooh, ice cream sundaes, yum. So that is that. I think that is all that I purchased myself. Hmm. Now I have to move a pile. Hold on. Okay, we're trying our hardest. Okay, then I have gifts. So first up is from my friend Debbie at Miss Sweets Crafting Therapy. And she sent me a gift, which I'm about to show you, but she also sent Noodles a gift, which was so sweet. And Noodles opened it in her vlog. So if you haven't seen Noodles vlog, you should check it out. I think that went up on the 21st this month. And she sent her a bag of treats. So we did a bunch of tricks and ate a bunch of treats. But then she sent me a book. Tiny Kingdom by Lila Alexander, and this is super cute. It's like, there's a lot of butterflies, Emily, do not look, but otherwise, it's like fun hybrid stuff, bugs and butterflies, and like mushroom houses, and I just like, I'm super drawn to this style. <gasps> I didn't notice this one before. It's a turtle castle, love it. And like, she's riding a snail. I just love stuff like this. It's super fun, it's super cute. Like, it's a whole house in a teacup cute 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 so I hope to get working in here soon it makes me nervous because it's so detailed and it's not color by number but I'm very excited anyway and I love that matte cover so thank you thank you Deb then my friend Toll sent me some coloring books also she sent me a million magical creatures by Lulu Mayo which is Lulu's most recent and there's some cute stuff in here otter oh a dodo bird that's funny Cute, cute, cute. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this by now. So also, I'll just say this now. If there's anything that I have not flipped that you're gonna see that you want flipped, let me know. I have some Disney books at the end that I definitely will be flipping in the next few days. But other than that, if there's anything specific, definitely let me know. Um, yeah. She also sent Whimsy Girls Around the World by Hannah Lynn, Hannah Lynn's newest. I love Hannah Lynn and I'm very excited for a new one. Um, I actually, I think still haven't colored a page in Hannah Lynn's book last year, the holiday book. So yikes. I don't know if I should be excited because I've been bad, but I am. So here is that beautiful. I just love her work and her last few books have definitely been hits for me. I wasn't the biggest fan of um, Victorian or steampunk, but that's just because I don't understand those color palettes. Like they're very neutral and I just don't get it, but I'm very excited for this one. So, oh, 
Sam gave me a heart attack. He said he was coming back, and then I forgot, and then my heart just exploded. So, thanks, Sam. You're welcome. Oh, my goodness. Okay, next up, I received a package all the way from Australia from Sarah at Chronic Coloring Down Under, and I was blown away by this package, and she sent so much stuff, including gifts for Sam and gifts for Noodles and gifts for me. And I'm not gonna show you everything because then this video by itself would be super long and it would just be me gushing. But I'm gonna show you some of the fun stuff. Let me see. I, it's basically a, um, you know like subscription boxes where they'll send you snacks from different countries or like little stuff from different countries. This is basically me getting an Australian box because everything was so fun, so super Australian, so fun. So first she sent this card <laughs> and it has all the little Australian animals on it. And I just think that's so funny and sweet. And yeah, th there's the card, very excited about the card. Um, then she sent more Australian post-it notes. I am like so excited and overwhelmed with post-it notes that I will never use, but here's these ones. So, little kangaroo, little koala. Um, there we go. Speaking of koalas, she sent a koala ornament. I was like, what is the word for you? Um, I love it because obviously koalas are super Australian, but they're also her favorite. And she also managed to, I didn't bring this one out, but she sent a keychain and it was koala shaped and then there's a turtle on the koala's belly. And I was like, what? perfect combination of both of our favorite things but this little guy is so cute and he's going on my tree the second I'm done filming so very excited for that I'm gonna put him over there to be safe she sent some snacks so some Tim Tams and uh oh now I forget what the other things were called what was the drink called Sam's not gonna remember he's afraid to try it but I'm gonna make him try it but these are delicious there is no substitute for Tim Tams apparently that's what it says on here Yum, I love these already. And Sam's also being like afraid to try those. And I'm like, you're ridiculous, but I'll eat all yours. So there's that. And then she sent two coloring books. So super cute turtles <laughs> by Eric de Prince. So here's the, oh, a Christmas turtle, perfect. And they're just super cute turtles. Like that's, that is what it is. So I'm excited. I'm debating if I'm gonna use all of these in the book or they're nice and big, so these might be good to like cut out and do glue booking and things like that. So I'm gonna see, but I have ideas of ruin. But also I like how they have some pink ones on the cover because in my head I'd be like, oh, well, everybody's brown, but there's some good ideas. Also these head shape reminds me of the good dinosaur from Pixar, so there's that. <laughs> Then she also sent this Disney princess book. Ooh, um, yeah, I was like, I've never had a book with this style, but they're tricky because it's just the cover page and then it's just a bunch of images in their normal style. But I love these cover pages. So I think it's gonna be my goal to do one of these cover pages first. Like they're beautiful. So look at that, my girl, Ariel. I don't know if Rapunzel's in here. I'm gonna have to go quick to see. Let's see. Belle, Cindy, Jasmine, oh, Merida, Moana, Mulan, Pocahontas. There she is, Rapunzel. Find your humanity. Haven't any of you ever had a dream? Beautiful. Snow White. So very excited and Tiana at the end. And this is apparently like a, an official scholastic book. So that's fun. Illuminate iconic Disney princesses in this collection of detailed art to color. So very excited to add an Australian book to my collection. Now I have French ones, I have Mexican copies, I have an Australian one, I think I have a Korean one. I don't know, but love it. So thank you so, so much, Sarah. There was, again, a ton of stuff that I didn't even show, but I appreciate it so much and I can't believe that she shipped it all the way from Australia. And it got here just in time and I'm so glad and definitely be on the lookout because next year we're gonna do some collabs. Like we have plans. Well, we have plans to make plans. So just be on the lookout. Like Sarah started her channel this year and I just love how she went about it. She did research. She like had so many thorough ideas ready and she just does a lot of cool stuff over there. So I will have her link down below. You should definitely check her out if you have not. 
Okay, next up, more books. I got two books from a friend Dave, who you heard before. He's been on the channel once or twice, but he got Paint by Sticker Christmas. And this are, I did the Halloween ones, but these are Christmas ones and they have a bunch of glitter stickers. So I'm excited. I'll probably do one of these today too. I haven't gotten to because like since he gave this to me, things have been crazy, Christmas crazy, but I'm excited. This will also be fun. And it'll go with the other thing to do like one of these and some Halloween ones together. Because he also got me from Halloween to Christmas special. Grayscale Coloring Book by Daria Kai Kirsoy. Nope. I'm so sorry. I don't know what her name is. But it's it's right there. And this is so fun. And it's like, I this is my first book by her. And it's very different styles. Because like this super, super cutesy. Super cutesy. Like this actual like photorealistic. Oh, you can put whatever you want in her little paper. And then she has Halloween ones that get really spooky. So it's grayscale. It's like, I don't know what paper this is. It might just be the regular paper, but then it's so much ink that it feels extra shiny. But I'm excited to work in this. So, and it's cross seasonal, so that's good. Then Nicole got me some books too. And she went with a sweets themed because she is a baker. So I kind of like lured her in with all the sweets themed books on my list, which was funny because then I bought like all the Disney things on her list. So Mandala Sweet by Daydream Desire. So this is just, I'm really into like stuff mandalas. So this is just sweets like uh, ice cream, lollipops, candy, lemons, yes. And they're just super cute. And then each one has these little on the outside. That's fun. Toast. Donuts. Oh, I'm hungry. I didn't eat before I filmed. So that's what I'm going to do when I'm done is eat something. But there is that mandal sweet. Super cute. And she also got this big fancy one. Delightful desserts and sweet treats by Color It. So I think this is my third color book. And these are so high quality. And they open that away. <clears throat> But this is also just different sweets and situations with sweets. Some sweets at the beach, some nice cakes, a little baking. The What are you called? <laughs> baking gloves? That's not what it's called. I don't know any words. Ooh, ice pops. I love ones like this. Ooh, these are Christmassy too. But I love when they have pictures that you can do one at a time pie, all that fun stuff. Very excited. I don't really have many food books. So now I do and I can work in them. So there we go. My cousin Alyssa who got the bookends and who was on the channel, her video went up on the 19th if you didn't see that. First of all, she, I've been sending her all the nice comments and she's like, you guys are making me blush. So that was super cute. But she got me colored with love, kawaii coloring book by Colored Caramel. This is one of their Valentine's Day books that came out and it's adorable. So I just found them with the Christmas books and now, oh, a bonsai. I'm very excited to continue to watch their work because it's so cute and I love it. I love when people do this. I don't know if everybody loves it, but like they have certain themes that they just carry over and just switch for each season. So let me find, I did the koala page, for example, for the Christmas book. Or there's like the sushi heart. There was a sushi tree in the last one. Did I miss it? I swear there was a koala page. Maybe I'm mixing up the books. But like they use the same characters and just put them in different situations. Oh, here it is. So this is the koalas are on like a heart pizza. And then the other book, the koalas were all over the hot chocolate. So I just love when they repeat like that. So very excited to get working in this. Since I guess, I don't know if I ever had any Valentine's Day books. So obviously I have romantic miniatures, which I guess is Valentine's Day E, but yes. All right, then we got one more book from my sister-in-law, Feeling Good Today, easy coloring book for adults, inspirational quotes by Sally Berry. I am not usually a quote person, but Shana has this book from Shana Colorland and 
she just has been doing such cute stuff. And I do love coloring words. That makes it hard because I'm like, I don't like quotes, but I do love words. So I saw this one. I saw what cool stuff she was doing in it. And I was like, we're just going to give it a shot. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. always like take quotes to heart, but maybe I will try next year. I will dare to dream and focus on the positive. Like they're just so cute. So I'm excited to give these a go. This might be the type of book that I just color the words and like, I like having books like that too, where I'm like, allow myself, if we can put put it that way, to just color little bits and pieces. And like, it doesn't, I don't need to finish the whole page for the page to be done kind of thing. So that's that. All right, I might swerve for a second. I never know what to do because I do have some reading books that I wanna show you, but I'm not done with the coloring stuff, but I kinda wanna save like the best for last. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save the best for last. I'm gonna do the reading books quick. There's only five. Five is a lot, I know, but not too bad maybe? I don't know. All right, so first from Toll, They Never Learn. This is a thriller and I think it is about a college professor who is like um, killing bad guys. And by bad guys, I mean like men that are like assaulting women type of bad guys. So they never learn. I'm gonna go really quick because I know not everybody's into the reading. Act Your Age, Eve Brown. This is from my cousin's girlfriend, Ashley, who is going to Disney with us. And this is the third book in a trilogy, um, Get a Life, Chloe Brown, Take a Hint, Danny Brown, and now Act Your Age, Eve Brown. And I'm excited because I am. I don't know what to say about it since it's the third book, but a lot of people say this is their favorite. Then from Sammy, I got two books. Uh, the Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. This is about like a dating app that literally matches your DNA to find your soulmate. And I think that the character in this book matched with the creator of the app and they like go on a PR tour and I assume eventually fall in love for real. And this cover is one of my favorite things. And I really love Christina Lauren. They're actually a duo and they do a lot of romance and I've liked most of the books that I've read by them. This one I'm super excited for. Finley Donovan is Killing It by El Casamano. And this is gonna be a series. And I think this is about an author who is talking about her mystery book in Pan Panera with like her agent and somebody overhears her and thinks she's a hit woman and hires her. So this is apparently like um, cozy mystery-esque. And a lot of people love this book this year. Like a lot of the booktubers I watched this was on their favorites. So I'm very excited for that. And finally, the reason I did this in this order to transition, my friend Dave got me. Walt Disney, The Triumph of American Imagination by Neil Gabler. And this is a whole book about Disney. I'm very excited to read this because I think he was very interesting. And I like hearing a lot of his own thoughts on what he wanted Disney to be versus kind of like what's happened to it now. And let me just show you because it, it's crazy. It's crazy. Let's see. This is all of the notes and like fact check and the appendix. So they really cited their work and it's ridiculous. So that's like hundreds of pages of this book, 633 pages. And then we get up to 850. So literally 200 plus pages are citations. So that's fun, yeah. but that's Walt Disney. All right, now we've transitioned into the Disney books and then we're gonna get to the two best things. So first, I actually got a card from my friend Audrey and in the card she sent me this Hercules <sighs> bookmark. How talented is she? I'm annoyed. She's so good. I love this so much. She used alcohol markers, but not on everything. You could definitely tell like she's shaded. And what? I love it. And Hercules is my favorite movie, which she knows because we're Disney, we're Disney besties. So thank you so much for this. I love it. I also, I almost didn't see it because it didn't like come out with the card. So I was going to throw out the envelope and I was like, ah, there's something in here. And it was this. And I'm very glad that I did not throw it out because I love it. So there is that, putting that safe. Then I got four more books from Sam that are Disney books. I actually knew about all these and wrapped them myself because these are the other half of my order from my birthday. But I have Disney portraits, 
uh, Tramp cover, I guess. They have like five books named Disney portraits at this point. So I just call it like Tramp cover. But this is the small one. They are unfortunately double-sided, but they are easier to color in theory because they're so small. And I've seen a lot of really cool stuff in this book and I'm excited. They kind of separate it, but I don't really worry about that too much. But at least the ones that are separated, like you could definitely do those in marker if you wanted because the words don't really matter. Oh, there's nothing on the other side anyway. But super cute, super excited. I don't have the biggest collection of non-color by number, but I thought this would be not too intimidating since it's so small. So that was my thought. And there's that. And then we have finally Disney Babies. I ordered this so long ago, it's finally mine. So I'm gonna do a uh, flip through of the next three definitely. So here's just one page of answers. Sorry, I didn't warn you but I'll do a whole flip because I just think it's important to know and pick um, what you're getting, if, especially if you can't get a bunch. But again, that was a good time to say. I will have Larika linked down below. That's the website that we got them from that they have free shipping. So that realization kind of like blew everyone's mind this year. So thank you, Mr. Sam, for that. And you can use my link for 10% off, blah, blah, blah. It's all down below. Disney babies, super excited. Then I also got Disney Triangle Bestier. And this is the first triangle book. I don't know if they're gonna come out with more, but it's a really weird and interesting style. Um, basically, you can see everything's triangles, but the background is all solid colors on each page, even though it's still separated by triangles. And then the image is there. So one page of answers, ready? Here we go. So yeah, each background is solid and then the character themselves is in the foreground. I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about doing this. I might just do the character. I might try to do fun and different methods for the backgrounds. Obviously it's really easy to change the background color, um, especially if you're peeking at the answers because like I can just make the cat yellow instead of blue. Uh, there's only one blue, so things like that. But I'm excited to give these a try. And I don't know, we'll see if I like them and we'll see if they come out with more. Right now there's none on the dock, but we will see. And finally, for coloring books, I got Trompe L'Oeil, Tomb 3. Uh, this is Optical Illusions. They give you a little example that uh, the original image would be Lumiere and then Mrs. Potts is the final answer. So I can't, uh, for example, there's Snow White. I wonder what the actual thing, I think it's her prints. I can kind of tell. It's probably hard for you, but I can see up close. So it looks like it's gonna be Snow White, but then it ends up being Prince Glorian. So again, one page of answers coming at ya. Ooh, I did it. Was that actually the answer? Yeah, so it is Prince Glorian. But here we go. And starting in book two and now in book three, the pages kind of go together. So it was Snow White and her prince, they go together. And it was Bernard and then Penny, they go together. And then like the Luca character and Raya. I actually have not seen these movies yet and it's a problem, but Hopefully New Year's Eve, we will watch one or both because that's when we watched Soul last year. So I'm tricking Sam into making a new tradition, but so excited to have this one in my collection now. There we go. I might actually be making a new Disney purchase, maybe today. We'll see. There's some pre-orders that I'm ready for. So there's that. Okay, now we're up to the two most exciting things. I have talked about this many a time, but they're finally here and they're finally mine. My, my papa got me the Blick Studio brush markers. Um, I ended up getting this 24 set, which had most of the colors I needed in it. And then I got a few extra, but the most exciting part of this was not even the markers, but it is the refills. So I got refills for all of the colors that I think I will need for um, color by number. I went through all of my main illustrators. I think I cross-referenced five or six illustrators and I made a chart of all of the colors they use and I tried to get the colors that would match. I think I ended up with 30 colors, I wanna say, something like that. So, and then I got all the refills, so I'm very excited. My plan is to mostly use these for color by number, which will then free up my Cali Art and Tau Tree 
to be used in other books because obviously in Color by Number, like there's so much blue for sky and green for grass and it was just draining those colors in my bigger sets and it was making me sad. And I like to be random and now I probably will not be, but I also might use these to supplement the, the packs that are dying. So like I definitely have like a lot of reds left. So I'll use the other colors in here and then supplement them in. So this was a huge thing that I got and I can't believe it and I'm very excited to swatch these hopefully right after this video so here is that I've never tried the Blick Studio markers so I'm a little bit nervous because that was a big investment for never trying them but um, I heard you can just like refill anything if you want so if these really are not the best I'll refill just my Cali Arts or something like that these are also the brush tip which was another scary decision um, but I went with the brush because I just did. I don't know. I'm usually a chisel girl anyway, so it's mostly chisel and then brush. So all colors are sold individually. Yep, got a bunch of them. So there's that. Okay, now my favorite thing. This was another gift from Emily and it was like the sweetest thing. Couldn't believe it, love it so much. And now I'm ready to show it to you. She got me a door hanger that says filming in progress. And I need it on the door right now, but I had to show you first. So coloring fun for everyone. This is my logo. Um, I actually designed a new logo, so we'll see if I switched or not, but she designed this logo for me. And I made this when I was trying to make my Patreon. I was trying to be more professional and have everything go together. And it's just so fun and I can't believe it. And it's so cute, filming in progress. And it's gonna be so useful for making sure Noodles is quiet. Now she won't listen, but Sam will, and hopefully my dad will see that I'm filming and not come yelling all around. But thank you so much, Emily, bestie. So I'll have her link down below, I hope. And that's it. Good golly, how long did this take? 41 minutes, not too bad. I think I talked really fast, but we had to get through it. So that is all of my coloring supplies slash like adjacent gifts for Christmas. I thank you so, so much for watching. Again, if you are gonna watch this the second it comes out, I might not have everything linked down below, but I'm gonna work on it throughout the day and get everything up as quick as I can. So if there's something specific you want, definitely feel free to ask in the comments. Otherwise, keep checking back. And hopefully everything will be linked ASAP. And I thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed my video every day. Now that I've missed one, I know. I'm gonna have everybody in a playlist. So if you missed anything, you can check out the playlist. And um, that's mostly it. I will see you tomorrow, I hope, with a new video, but we'll find out. And if you made it all the way to the end, let's just say button. I don't know if I really ever use button as my word. I probably have at some point, but. Button is our word. I thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you, oh, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Comment anything you wanna comment down below, including our secret word button. Subscribe if you have it. I'm a fun time and I'll be back again tomorrow with something new. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye friends.